Yeah. My name's Peter Wolfenden and I am the owner and director of a small company called Grow Garden Products. We're in my garden this morning, it's a glorious morning and we're right on the edge of the Yorkshire Dales. Uh, what I'm going to do today is show you uh, the patio grow which I invented, which I use for my vegetable garden. Now I don't have a permanent one and it's uh, really easy to operate and you can grow abundance of veg and salad crop. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you exactly what you get in the box and, uh, the, and, and a few details about it. You actually get 12 of these extra deep trays and these deep trays are special to the patio grow. They're extra deep so you can put a good amount of compost in so it'll actually sustain the growth of your plant. It's two-tier drainage so it never blocks up and they're really quite strong. You could use them as a window ledge box or whatever. So you've 12 of those. You also get 12 labels which is fairly important so you can write on what the crop is and your date you planted it. So one in each box of those. You also get this irrigation kit which is basically a professional product which we've adapted for the patio grow. There's an individual watering nozzle for each one which you can switch on or off or, uh, or make it go slower or faster. It, work, it, it works off the main uh, water and this just fastens on to the main frame of the patio grow which we'll show you later. So that's what you get with your, uh, uh, with your patio grow. You, you obviously get the frame which is in this box which is strong steel frame which we'll show you uh, once it's assembled. What I'm going to do now is explain a little bit about the frame. We've now got the frame uh, constructed and you can see it's three quarter inch steel all bolted together. It's really sturdy and when it's fully loaded with the plants it'll weigh something like 200 weights. The idea of the uh, pyramid shape is basically it's, it's the, uh, makes it more stable. The centre of gravity is down here so you'll never find it blowing over as you do with the cheap and nasty Chinese ones. Uh, the other thing about it is the distance between there and there is so that the plants get maximum daylight and they're not growing toward the light so you get a nice compact plant. We have the uh, black trays on your site and we also have the inserts. Now these inserts it can basically be a bedding plant factory. You can produce so many little bedding plants you won't need to buy any. So there's, there's, there's uh, 24 of these inserts and if you're going to use it for a school the kiddies could have one of these for the cells, put in the seedlings, the, the cress, the mustard and after about a week they'd be able to take it home. So it's quite a flexible product. We're, on each one of these trays we have the irrigation. I've just pushed it into this hole for the moment because we don't have any compost in but if we just switch it on you'll see what we can do and I'll explain just how it all works. But this is on the mains water supply. Well it, it's now starting to come into the water and you can see there's a nice little jet. These, these can be adjusted so that you can switch it off. You can just put it slow and that will water each individual one and it'll also cool the plants down a little bit. But that's professional stuff. If you don't want it down here, you just switch it off. It saves you water. But a lot of the plants, they want, some want more water and some want less, so it's really good for that. Uh, with, the, with the trays, there's, uh, f I think, five different types. There's uh, the uh, 20 cell, the 12 cell, the 9 cell, the 4 cell and the half trays. These, these trays, don't come with a standard patio grow uh, package. You actually have to buy these separate, but it's negligible, the price. But you can actually buy the um, bedding plants from the supermarket or wherever and fix them into this. Uh, they fit perfectly. Everybody's uh, trays fix into these big seed trays. Now I'm going to show you exactly what will grow on the, in the frame. On these big trays you see we've got the radish which are coming along, they're not quite ready yet, but it's surprising how fast they grow 
and you really to like get them before they get going too strong. You've got your salad onions here which you just pull a few when you require them. Wash them. Nice sweet little onions. You've got your pak choy here for your salads. Lettuce here which has probably been planted about three weeks to a month. They're coming on uh, and we will use them when we've use these but they seem to be beating me at the moment there's quite a good crop we've got the salad uh, the uh, uh, carrots here which were thin these is only small but you know if you wash them and just nip them off and they're really nice and sweet and add flavor to a salad with what i grow in here you probably need nearly half an acre of uh, garden to to grow what i'm growing in this very confined space What we've done now, we've actually removed all the vegetables and salad crop and we replaced it with some trailing begonias. You can put whatever you want into it, but it does make a tower of bloom, especially where you have no, not a lot of room for, for growing the, your flowers. What we've done now, we've come into the greenhouse and what I've done here, I've brought the patio frame into the greenhouse and we're using this as, as greenhouse staging. It's much better than the single tier one because you can have three tiers of growing and as they grow you can just alternate the uh, plants so that they get the best uh, possible growing conditions. Here we have, this is only set about three or four days, we've got the cress which is a salad and the mustard and in probably a week we'll be taking that and using that for salad. Right, what we see here is the standard frame, which is the, the steel work. But what we've done now, we've put on the extension kit, which is this outer steel work and the bracing, which has made it into a uh, little greenhouse. And it, this, this comes uh, complete. It, all you have to do is just bolt it on and it comes with a PVC cover. So you can actually um, elongate or have a longer growing season when you put this extension kit on. You can also put a fleece on which makes it warmer or if you're growing strawberries in you can put a net on or you can have if you want you can put the shelf on the bottom which is an extra you can cut a little bit cut it in two and you can have a middle shelf and a top shelf and this can go with the irrigation it's just so flexible 